Near Radio, AR196. A radio produced the AR196 in 1937 in response to a request from the Kriegsmarine, or German Navy, for a reconnaissance float plane to operate from surface vessels, mainly the big capital ships. With no real plan to develop aircraft carriers, the German Navy required a robust float plane to act as an eye in the sky. The AR-196, having beaten off all competition to win the contract, entered service in late 1938. It would continue to serve throughout the Second World War. As the war progressed and with sea battles leading to the inevitable reduction of the German fleet, the AR-196 was increasingly used by coastal base squadrons. Possessing excellent handling characteristics, this float plane operated in all coastal areas and was much admired by its crews when production ended in March 1944. A total of 541 of the type had been built in all variants. Powered by a BMW 132K engine, the Aradio AR-196 had a crew of two pilots, observer slash gunner. The aircraft had a maximum speed of just over 310 km an hour with a range of almost 1,100 km and for its size that's very impressive and a surface ceiling of 7,000 meters. Armament on early models consisted of one MG-15 machine gun on pivot mounting in the rear cockpit later AR-196A3 variants carry two wing mounted 20mm MG FF cannon and one fuselage mounted MG-17 machine gun whilst twin MG-81Z machine guns replaced the earlier MG-15 in the rear cockpit fitted with wing racks the AR-196A3 carried two 50kg bombs well for the start of series 3 episode 1 as you can see, I'm doing things a little differently. I have more photos than what I can fit in the actual video. And there is that many to choose from. I had to do it like this today. Next up, probably the most famous flying boat in German service, the Dornier DO-24. A very good looker. Probably the most famous of all the German flying boats, the Dornier DO-24. The Dornier DO-24 had its first flight in July 1937. The innovative design of tri-engine arrangement on an overhead wing made the DO-24 stand out from the other flying boats of the time the Luftwaffe took delivery of the DO-24 in November 1937, this particular flying boat proved successful in a variation of roles, namely long-range reconnaissance and air sea rescue. Also in the transport role, about 290 DO-24s were built. In all variations, the DO-24 found a home in Spain after World War II, where it continued to operate until the late 1960s on air sea rescue duty. Ultimately, the DO-24 would be the last of the large flying boats to operate in Europe. Powered by three BMW Brahmo 323R engines, the final military version, the DO-24K, had a crew of six pilot observer, engineer, wireless operator slash gunner and gunner. The aircraft had a maximum speed of 340 km an hour, a range of 4,000 750 kilometers and a surface ceiling of 5,900 meters. Armament consisted of two MG-15 machine guns in bow and stern turrets, together with one 20 mm MG-151 or one 30 mm MK-103 cannon in a powered dorsal turret. Additionally, the DO-24 accommodated up to 12 
kilograms of bombs on the wing racks. 37 Dutch and German built DR-24s had been sent to the Dutch East Indies by the time of the German occupation of the Netherlands in June 1940. Until the outbreak of war, these aircraft would have flown with the tricolour roundel, led to avoid confusion with British or French roundels. Dutch aircraft flew a black boarded orange triangle insignia a Dutch Dornier DL-24 is credited with sinking the Japanese destroyer Shinome. on December the 17th 1941 whilst the ship was escorting an invasion fleet to Edie. in British Borneo. On the 10th of January 1942 a Dutch Dornier DL-24K spotted a Japanese invasion fleet heading for Tarakan Island in Dutch Borneo, giving adequate warning so that all oil installations could be destroyed before the Japanese arrived. After the Japanese had invaded the, the Netherlands East Indies, six surviving DR-24s were transferred to the Royal Australian Air Force. In February 1942 they served in the RAAF through most of 1944 as transports in New Guinea.